Suppose we are having a complex network of different voltage sources and resistors. Now say we have to calculate current through any particular branch in that network. If we now concentrate on that branch only then rest of the network can be considered as a single voltage source whose terminal voltage is nothing but the voltage that appears across the branch for the existing complex network. Internal resistance of that voltage source will be the equivalent resistance of the network that appears between the terminals of the branch. If we go through one example that will be clear to us. See in the network we have to calculate current through the resistor RL across the terminals A and B. For that we first remove the resistor RL from the terminals A and B of the network. Now if we observe the network carefully the voltage that appears across the terminal AB is nothing but the voltage drop across the 4 ohms resistor as shown. Here in the network this 2 ohms resistor and 4 ohms resistor are series connected. Hence equivalent resistance of this combination will be 6 ohms. Now this equivalent 6 ohms is in parallel with another 6 ohms resistor. Hence resultant resistance of this combination will be 6 by 2 that is 3 ohms. This 3 ohms resistance then again is in series with another 3 ohms resistance. Hence resistance offered by the network across the voltage source is 3 plus 3 that is 6 ohms. Hence at this situation the total current supplied by the source to the network is 6 volts by 6 ohms that is 1 ampere. This 1 ampere is then divided into two equal parts of 0.5 amperes as shown. Hence current flow through the 4 ohms resistor is 0.5 ampere. That means voltage drop across 4 ohms resistor will be 4 into 0.5 that is 2 volts. This 2 volt is actually offered by the network across the terminals A and B. Hence the total network can be considered as a single source of 2 volts. For calculating equivalent resistance of the network across the terminal A and B, we have to first replace the voltage source in the network by its internal resistance. Here in this example, the only voltage source of 6 volts is taken as ideal. So we will replace it by a short circuit. After replacing the source by short circuit, we will look at the network from points A and B. Here in the network this 3 ohms resistor and 6 ohms resistor are parallel. Hence equivalent resistance of this combination will be 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is 2 ohms. Now this equivalent 2 ohms is in series with another 2 ohms resistor. Hence resultant resistance of this combination will be 2 plus 2 that is 4 ohms. This 4 ohms resistance then again is in parallel with another 4 ohms resistance. Hence resistance offered by the network is 4 by 2 that is 2 ohms. Hence open circuit voltage and resistance offered by the network across the points A and B are 2 volts and 2 ohms respectively. Thus this network can be replaced by a single voltage source of 2 volts with internal resistance of 2 ohms connected in series with it.